This is your boy Joe back at it again. Codingface.com. Your boy is back and out and did it again somehow. <laughs> All right. So today's topic is why do you have to be so politically correct all the time? <laughs> that should be a, a t shirt. Um, but yeah, like sometimes people create this list that catch your attention, right? Clickbait, super clickbait, right? It's like gulp versus grunt versus webpack tools and task runners. Which technology is better? It's the fight of the century. Ah, right. So <laughs> sorry for the noise. Uh, but yeah. So you're thinking it's going to be like a death match. And you're like, oh, man, I'm going to see blood out here. I'm going to see people, you know, come in, go hard and be like, Grunt got the, you know, the freaking pig, uh, freaking gulp got the, the freaking gulp of soda, uh, you know, and Webpack got the little Rubik's Cube, and they're both, well, all three of them is gonna fight each other to the death or something, I don't know, hey, you're expecting something great, but after reading the whole article, you're like, wait, you're pretty much giving me all the things that are inside of the documentation, which I already know, Right? You're giving me information about three technologies that are pretty much well known out there. You're not sharing your opinion. Um, you're not giving me anything new about them, any new perspective. You're not sharing your own opinion on it. So why the hell did you bring me to this website? <laughs> this is how, how I'll be feeling sometimes, right? So Sometimes you fall into this loop of checking blog through blog through blog through blog through blog and realize that you haven't done any work, but somehow then you bump into articles like this where it's like, well, here is at the end after the whole thing. So it's like, well, here's the moment when we got to got to the very end of our webpack versus gulp versus grunt comparison here. I am willing to explain explain you, I don't know how that goes, I'm willing to explain you which framework and when to use because, to be honest, we may not be able to say that one of them is the best and one of them is the worst one. Due to this, I am willing to highlight that each framework has its own special aspects which have been taken into consideration by the developers before they make their own, their own choice. Okay, so this whole article was reviewing everything that we already know about Gulp, Grunt, and Webpack. And then at the end, you don't even tell me which one is the best one. I want to know your opinion, buddy. So <laughs> I don't know why this thing irritates me. Because this happens all the time. It happens on YouTube. It happens on, on Reddit. It happens on... A uh, freaking, uh, f what is it? Uh, freak code camps, uh, freaking forums and comments. It happens on uh, anywhere, any blog out there. They come in, put in a whole bunch of different technologies together. And then at the end, they'll be like, we don't know which one's the best one. We just know that somehow it's like, you figure it out. It's like, wait what like what was the point of writing the article you're not giving me no information you're not telling me hey man this is the best one for you because of this situation so excuse me this this is the best one for you in this situation or this situation it's just more like hey man we wasted like 10 15 minutes of your life just you know reading stuff and and looking at, at, at pretty pictures of the same logos but we're not going to give you the answer which one is the best one, right? And the reason why a lot of people do this, number one is for clickbait, right? It's very great to say, hey, I'm going to get a lot of views from all three of these keywords, webpack, gulp, and grunt, okay? And then at the end of the day, I'm not responsible for my opinion on this. All I'm going to say is I'm going to give you the same thing that's on the documentation and then tell you, hey, you figure it out, right? But for junior developers, I mean, <laughs> like, how does that help them? You get what I'm saying? Like, not only even junior developers, any developer, how does that help you? It's like, hey, here are three technologies 
but we're going to give you the highlights and you figure it out. You get what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I find that to be annoying. I find that to be retarded. I find that to be like, doesn't make sense in this world. And I don't know. I just wanted to talk about that in this video because it's just kind of kind of stupid to to create a blog and then not give the person that's reading the article a definitely um point or a, a, a choice say hey i personally go with gulp or i personally go with webpack or i personally go with uh grunt it's more like hey we're gonna waste your time we're gonna wrap it up all nice and then at the end, there is no conclusion. The conclusion is your job to figure it out. Like, yeah, I know it's my job to figure it out. But why are you telling me we're going to do a, a triple death match between all three of this frameworks or this libraries, right? Like, don't do that. Don't do that. That clickbait stuff, man. It's really annoying, man. It's really super annoying. I just wish people would understand that. When you're online, you're looking for answers. You're not looking for somebody to come in and be like, hey, man, you know, it's like you're going to search online, right? Imagine this. You come in to a website and then you're trying to search. I want to buy a Honda, a Toyota or a Hyundai. Which one of those threes are actually the best ones for me, right? On 2018 or whatever, whatever year it is. And then the guy goes like, hey, Honda has four wheels. <laughs> the, the, the freaking Toyota has four wheels. The Honda has four wheels. And just comes to you and be like, hey, you know what? You decide which one you want to buy. Like, wait, what? Like, you're supposed to persuade me into or tell me which one is the best one. Either by price, either by speed, either by whatever. Uh, categories you might think of or attributes that this car might have give me that information and this is what I'm saying with a lot of these blogs and and when I look online I'm like man people don't understand that when you're looking for things online it's for an answer you're looking for somebody to tell you this is the best ones or say this ones are good because of this situation or this ones is good for this situation or you say, hey, you can't use this in this situation because it's overkill, right? If you come in and you break it down for people like that, people will appreciate the, the blog post. But when you just come in at the end and you're just like, I wash my hands, man. That's on you. That's your job. You came here, but that's your job to decide which one is the best one. I see that all the time on YouTube too, man. You got to say, hey, man, this is the best because of this, 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 and this. It's like uh, <laughs> this week somebody sent me a, a, a comment about Python, right? And they're like, man, you know, Python is great. Python is where it's at, man, because Python can do, do this, 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 and this. And it's like, you know, it's not just for, for, for college graduates and this and that. It's like if you come in and you study your math, and you, even I myself is taking uh, calculus on my own to learn things. And I'm like. Wait, hold on, buddy. First of all, <laughs> this channel is about web development, right? My advice is for people who are looking to get into web development, not looking to get into data, uh, freaking data science. I'm not looking to, uh, you know, come in and, and become uh, data management. I don't want none, none of those people because that's not my expertise, right? I wouldn't come in and start creating those videos if I don't know anything about it. Right. Those are not the things that uh, basically I, I, I would recommend, because if I'm a web developer, I want to talk about web development. So what does Python have to do with anything here? You get what I'm saying? So it's like the same thing as this is like, bro, if you're going to create a blog post, give value to the people. When people come to my channel, I come in and I give them value. You get what I'm saying? So just be careful out there, man. I keep repeating this all the time. Be careful with, you know, information that's out there on the Internet. Be careful with blog posts. And like literally people come in and, and try to get money off the ads. Like they're not even giving you any good advice. They're not showing you why things are good. They're just saying, hey, man, 
It's on here are the things that are in the documentation on the front page of the, of the technology and then we're going to rewrite it and then resend it to you and show it to you and say hey here's a brand new blog post and at the end we're not going to tell you which one is the best because we can't tell you that you get what I'm saying like I don't know man but anyways guys I'll see you guys later it's your boy Joe codingface.com your boy's back and I done did it again once again we got to bump into this crazy world that we call the internet Okay, and for those of you guys that been wanting to sign up to the website, go to codingphase.com. Currently, if you go through the description below, you're going to get 65% off on the whole website. Um, go take that Ruby course, man, if you've never done programming, right? If you know HTML and CSS, you're like, you know what? I just want to try, even before I even try getting into uh, building website, let me try to learn a little bit of programming. If you've never done it before. Try the Ruby, right? Learn with me on Ruby. Let's see how it goes. And then from there, commit. Because some people, they, they think, okay, I'm going to build a web page, but don't like really uh, to program and, and come in and write logic and, you know, write cool stuff like little programs and stuff like that. They're not into that, right? So if you're not into that, you're not going to be into JavaScript. <laughs> it's that simple. But at least you want to try it out. You know, so the best way to really get into programming is coming into Ruby. And then if you have a problem with JavaScript later on, you go back to your, your Ruby course or you go back to that time that you did it in Ruby and you're like, wait, this is easy. This is, this isn't hard. You get what I'm saying? It's just programming. All right. So it's a great language to start with. So yeah, man, check it out. Codingphase.com. Your boy's back. I done did it again. We out here. All right. See you guys.